I sing good one time. Good morning to you. That's right. Good morning to you. It's a brand new day for music, and I'm ready to rock with you. Good morning to you. Good morning, children. My name is Mr. Luthor. I'm going to open us up in prayer today. Dear Jesus, thank you for this new day to be alive. Thank you for dying on the cross for our sins. Please forgive us for all of our sins and make us right with you. We welcome your Holy Spirit presence today. Please be here with us and meet with us. We want to know you more. Please help us to listen to your word, listen to your Holy Spirit's voice, and change us from the inside out to be more like your Son, Jesus. We also ask that you protect us and care for us as we go about today. We love you, Jesus. We worship you alone. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's pray together the Lord's Prayer. All right, sorry about the delay there, people. Thank you so much, and welcome back to Spiritual Breakfast. And we've got our friend Scripture Squirrel to start our new verse for the week. Are you ready, Scripture Squirrel? I'm ready. Let's get this going. All right. What's our new verse for this week, Scripture Squirrel? It's Romans 12, 21. What's it say? It says, Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Very good. I like that one. That's a nice tight verse. Yes, very good. I think the kids are going to get this one. I hope so. Kids, be working on your verse every day when you do spiritual breakfast. Try to memorize it. Scripture Squirrel and I will be very proud of you if you can tell us the verse. All right? Ready, Scripture Squirrel? I'm ready. Bye, right, kids. I love you. All right, very good. Today... We're reading from the Fire Bible for Kids devotional, and it's an official seal is the name of the devotion today. It's from Ephesians 1, 13 and 14. It says, when you believed, you were marked in him with a seal, the promised Holy Spirit, 
who is a deposit guaranteeing our inheritance until the redemption of those who are God's possession to the praise of his glory. In times past, a signet ring was used to seal letters and packages from an important person. Uh, the king would have a ring that he wore on his finger that would have a seal like this. This is a coin that has a seal on it. And you can see it has an imprint and an impression on it. Now, if I were to press this into some Play-Doh or some clay or some hot wax, this would make that print on whatever I put it on. And then if anyone got that letter, they would know that this official signet was printed on that letter and it came from me. So this is, this is like a seal that a king would use to seal a letter in times past. Um, the Bible tells us from the very moment you believed in Jesus, a seal, much like the seal of a signet ring, is placed upon your heart. It marks you as someone very important to the king of kings. That seal is the Holy Spirit. So what's the purpose of the seal to those who believe in Jesus for salvation? The verse tells us it's a deposit guaranteeing our inheritance as a child of God. When you believed in Jesus, you were adopted into God's family. The Holy Spirit seal shows your relationship with God. Whenever you buy a house these days, you sign lots and lots of paperwork. And on the paperwork, there's somebody called a notary. And that notary has a seal and they have a special stamp that they put on the paper that says that they witnessed you signing the the deed of the house and signing the the mortgage paperwork that seal makes it official the papers are not the house right the papers that you signed to buy the house are not the house itself they're a deposit guaranteeing that the house belongs to you and the same thing is the seal of the holy spirit on our hearts it's not that we get to inherit the kingdom of heaven right now, but it's a seal guaranteeing that we are going to inherit the kingdom of heaven because God promised it in his word. So the Holy Spirit is our seal. So we want to be uh, impressioned by the Holy Spirit. We want to have the imprint of God and to represent and, and, um, and show the sign of God on our lives through the Holy Spirit. So let's, today, if you get a chance, if you have some Play-Doh at home and you can find something like a coin or even a, well, I wouldn't say your mom's wedding ring, that's probably not a good idea to get Play-Doh in that, but if you can find a coin or something like a seal, press it in there and make an imprint to help remember that the Holy Spirit is our imprint, that um, we are sealed by God for eternity and we have an inheritance with him, a promise of, of an eternal kingdom to rule and reign with him forever pretty awesome. Let's pray. Lord, thank you so much for the seal on our hearts when we believed in you that you sealed us forever with the Holy Spirit. And I pray today you'd fill us with the Holy Spirit so we can carry out our mission today to tell others about you. We want more of you in our life. Please help us with that. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, now it's time for going out with a blessing and a song. We'll see you tomorrow at 730. you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine on you and give you peace. May the Lord lift up the height of his countenance on you. May the Lord protect you and keep you safe from all harm and trouble. In Jesus' name, amen. in and